welcome to the 26th day of high performance entrepreneurship series hi hari happy to see you back and we are on a journey of 100 days before the curtain raiser of the journey to the 100 million startups dream big aim high start small start very small that is just focus on one skill of yours start very small that you can master your skill very easily start very small so that you can build a discipline around your dream or your skill and believe me once you have a skill that you have mastered and you're very focused on and you have a discipline around this believe me in few years or in 10 years you can make that an ipo or you can be the next unicorn any skill chisel done regularly you can reach to whatever dreams whatever heights you want so again telling the same words dream big aim high start small i'm starting the 26th day of high performance entrepreneur i welcome uh fanaki sorry fanaki if i pronounce it wrong vinay laura and abdul and today i have one of my friends here who has been the early participant of chuma work that is gaurav pol who will be helping you understand what mind mapping is and to moderate this event i have my linkedin coach jasir alavi who has been with me for my startup journey in farmchen and now he is my linkedin coach who has helped me achieve the linkedin badge top voice badge so the stage is yours jasir thank you so much kabir thank you uh, thank you for accepting the invitation gaurav paul um it's uh, really nice to have you and this is a subject that's like uh, as a person who you know doodles and uh, you know sketches a lot i i've, I've been you know pra- uh, trying to practice for a long time uh, mind mapping and something really of great interest to me and i'd love to as a you know a uh, portion mind mapping expert at i really like to um, you know last uh, i have a lot of questions and really love to hear from you um, thank you again to for joining um hi jasper yes i'm so, on yeah you are good for yeah Hi. So yeah. um uh, great to join you all. Uh I have been uh, in Dubai for a few years and uh, it's great to be in this company because Kabir and I uh, go a long way. Uh, we've uh, involved ourselves in various uh, activities and when he invited me for this uh, program I was uh, very happy to accept. so happy to be with you all wonderful um let's uh, dive uh, right in and before that i just want to uh, you know uh, set the ground rules for the uh, audience here so um this is day 26 of the high performance entrepreneur series and we're bringing you different topics about linkedin fitness uh you know uh, my uh, interesting topics like this so um uh, make sure you connect with each other here um you know um, uh, follow each other connect with each other build your uh, you know connections here uh, audio link uh, linkedin audio are a great place for that 
and uh, let's dive in with the questions now and um, you know uh, as soon as we uh, finished uh, around halfway like uh, 30 minutes uh, where you know Kauru will be uh, explaining what is mind mapping and all that so you can uh, raise your hands and join us uh, in the panel and uh, you can uh, uh, contribute your experiences and ask questions so yeah with that let's let's dive in so uh, the topic is brainstorm brilliance leveraging mind mapping for innovative thinking uh, now this word uh, or this tool mind mapping is something new for a lot of people so uh, Kauru, can you uh, explain uh, to us what it is sure uh, very happy to do that uh, you see um, if i tell you uh, you have to go to place x and you go straight take a right shortly after take a left go straight for another kilometer turn right then uh, you will see a, a kind of parking on your right uh, next to it you will find this place now this is one way scenario one scenario two i show you a map like google maps for example <laughs> Which do you think is uh, simpler to follow and uh, to get to your destination? Definitely the map, definitely. Right. So similarly, uh, someone called Tony Buzan uh, started this uh, thought or rediscovered rather because uh, as far back as the third century, there was a, a gentleman called Porphyry of Tyros, he was like an intellectual of that time, uh, he started graphically depicting concepts and subsequently I am told many many other people also use this technique, uh, Picasso for one who is an artist as you might know, Leonardo da Vinci in the 15th century also used mind mapping or something similar. The whole idea is when we see a picture, again, it brings us back to this uh, cliche which says uh, a picture is worth a thousand words. Now, if, uh, when you write down, uh, you may or may not uh, remember certain aspects. Uh, but when you see a picture, uh, it becomes so much more clearer. Uh, you, there are chances that you will remember it for longer when a picture is involved. So, a mind map is essentially drawing out uh, certain things or uh, starting with a core idea and then uh, looking at the sub uh, ideas and uh, making it further detailed uh, there is a chance that you can uh, see things uh, in a better light um, often times when we are say writing a presentation for example uh, our ideas are coming all the time and they not may not be sequential. So as we get the idea, we put it down and then consolidate the whole thing and make our presentation and make changes even. So this is a lateral way of doing things. Yes, sir. Right, right. Uh, and so... Um, like, can you uh, briefly mention some of the advantages that, uh, as a mind mapper, that you have felt uh, against you know other techniques uh, that people use? Sure. Right. You see, I always felt uh, slightly disadvantaged uh, as a student because uh, when, say, a, a lecture was happening or a class was happening, my mind would wander, and. Uh, uh, like come exam time it was difficult to you know revise things and uh, put everything in my head so that I could write my exams better because my notes were sequential chapter one uh, go, going through the whole thing this happened this happened this happened uh, and even in college I, I felt that if there was another technique which would help me stay focused and make it uh, slightly interesting uh, and this continued uh, even when uh, we were go to a meeting a professional meeting you take minutes uh, during the minutes again 
this happened, so and so said this, the other person responded like this, this was a decision. Uh, minutes also were tedious. Then I met this uh, friend of mine who is also my mentor. Uh, her name is Gigi Zablan. She is a trainer and currently she is in California. She introduced me to mind mapping uh, when she also introduced me to Toastmasters way back about 19 years ago. And she uh, explained that using mind maps can be an interesting way of uh, writing speeches, writing notes, uh, writing anything like if you w want to plan a party for example you have the core idea you draw the guest list you draw the items that would be required uh, the permissions that might be uh, required uh, the food uh, the music everything so I found this from my early stage as a, a speaker or as a Toastmaster a very useful tool where I started with the core idea, uh, went down to what is it that I want people to remember from the speech and what are the anecdotes that I can put in there, what are the um, phrases that will make my speech uh, more understandable, uh, how I will uh, make an impression uh, at the end of the speech. So, uh, I started using mind maps and pretty much everything that I do now, in fact, as I prepared for this uh, interview, uh, I put down a mind map and I, I, I went out and, uh, and said, uh, the various aspects of what we will be discussing, I put down a mind map and I encourage everyone to read a little bit about mind maps and get down to it. Uh, you need not be an artist to do it. Uh, uh, you can just like on a plain piece of paper write a core idea like I would encourage whoever is listening in thank you for uh, joining us uh, see if you can get a sheet of paper put the central idea which is mind mapping in the middle and whatever you take away from this conversation uh, start uh, making uh, various uh, headings and then subheadings and adding those points and at the end of it you will have a piece of paper that uh, you can uh, refer to uh, later uh, and uh, uh, develop this idea. You know, in Toastmasters, often we say practice makes perfect. So what you practice often, you get good at. So I believe I'm good at mind mapping because I've been practicing it over many, many years. And I encourage everyone else to take this on and make things simple, uh, not only themselves, they can get their children to practice this, they can uh, have their uh, colleagues and friends also use it. Right, it's really, it's a really, really interesting tool and uh, um, uh, it's been around, um, I think, 10-15 years that I've been also trying to use this, but not as, uh, I'm not an expert like you, but um, I usually use it for uh you know uh, planning some uh, planning something you know uh, and i know there are different ways to use that um, and uh, uh Kabir, uh, you've been using mind maps as well so what is your experience um, as an entrepreneur i have been using mind maps from uh, like college or school so how it works for me is uh, for every exam <laughs> I um, use mind maps uh, behind every question paper I would draw. That's the best time I get a lot of ideas in the exam hall. So uh, that's how it starts. Then uh, apart from that, uh, like my uh, whenever we go to a restaurant, while discussing, I take that uh, paper sheet. So that's an A3 usually. I start scribbling. Usually I take that home. So if you, uh, before, like if you see with me, I have a bundle of uh, mind maps always with me. Because the, some would be in tissue papers and some would be in restaurant sheets. And olden days it used to be in exams. But nowadays what I do is that I buy this A3, A3 book that even I do with my startups. I buy A3 sketchbook 
what i do is that i try uh, doing all the exercises in that the advantage is so i have that a bit organized so this is my journey with my mind maps back to you right right um so uh, like uh, you have used it for a long time uh, and uh, uh, specifically for you know uh, you know entrepreneurs or who are aspiring to you know start up uh, what advantages do you see for them and then mind map so in my perspective uh, see it is easy to, so uh, long before like being in school i didn't know this was mind map so this is how i used to draw it around then coming forward i started uh, using uh, coming across mind mapping tools like mappy and all so then i started mapping so for me any software project or any clients or anyone comes in i used to do this technique then go, uh, coming forward i started understanding that i was doing mind mapping so i have been go, like literally i'm studied it it has been uh, something i have been like doing it so i don't know a structured way but for startups when i sit with them i have my own framework which i uh, so what i do is that with them i make them dumb their dreams basically so this brings in a bit of a clarity so when i had my uh, software studio so same thing I, when i go to the client i used to map it with the dream mapping method so that used to work with me good so for any startups the best thing is that have a book with them a free book with them whenever any thought comes just start scribbling if a branch comes just start branching it out keep on doing it so that after some time if you look you'll see your dreams plotted on that paper i take on it thank you for sharing that um hi it's actually nice to have have you here thanks to us hello baby so hello work so yeah so um uh, what's your yeah how 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 has been your uh, experience with mind mapping have you been using it to like this uh, how has it been helping you yeah so just i have not been using it from a long time but i would say when it, uh, like i have just starting it using uh, you know just six months back but as you asked now that what is the real use of mind maps for the entrepreneurs i feel it's very good even in if, in, if you're in the ideation stage you have so many thoughts going on in your mind and you know it's very difficult if you just write them down pen them down so it's better you create a center core topic and then you make subsets of it so you'll be able to you know analyze your own and interpret it in a very good way also mind map uh, i use the x minds mind map uh, where you know what we do we usually you know uh, present to the client their own data in a mind map so uh, that gives a very good impression on them that as you know that you know i am basically a person who helps brands in uh, uplifting and generating revenue so when i come in a call with them so what i do to make my good impression on them i already have a research on them and i write that research in a mind map format so that gives a very good impression to the uh, you know the prospect and that helps in the closure as well so i feel that is one way entrepreneurs or business people can use mind map hi right right um so true uh i mean hi thank you for joining us um so if uh, any of you would like to come up please raise your hand and uh, kabir can bring you up uh, i have a few more questions for gaurav and i'll just get back to you i mean so uh like what are your favorite tools for uh, mind mapping is it paper and pen or do you use um, software and your software so apps? well i am a practical person so i uh, find paper and pen uh, the most practical though over time there have been many tools that i have used there's a thing called mindjet uh, that has been used i was told that uh, when boeing's uh, 380 was being planned they had made a mind map for it and stuck the printouts around the room 
so that you know uh, it could become uh, available and simple for people so yes technology is there and uh, there are a number of other tools now i i while researching for today's uh, session i found that even on uh, play store uh, you have a number of uh, mind map uh, tools uh, available so i have downloaded uh, one of them it's called uh, mindmo or something uh mindmo yeah right right mindomo so mind -domo, these are yeah. available but uh, i find it uh, more practical and useful to put it on paper so for example uh, anything for example uh, if i am to uh, make a plan for um, one of my operations i i, I get down uh, on paper and uh, yes if i have the luxury i use multiple colors of pens uh, i don't sketch a lot but sometimes it's good to doodle a little uh, as well so i find it most practical to do it on paper with uh, pencils and pens and make it a bit colorful uh, and that that works for me right um, so yeah i really do that. i enjoy doing that part you know <laughs> um, and uh, recently i introduced it to my kids um, and uh, um, they are in uh, no, fifth and sixth and i asked them, yeah. i told them like you know try this on your chapter and uh, my son tried it on one of his geography chapters and uh, um, he didn't get hang of it for the first time but then um, he he enjoyed the doodling part right so um, yeah for second try he he got a really big um, uh big mind map with a lot of uh, pictures and all that so uh, wow. it, it it helped them it helped him like you know it made the reading part interesting because you need to read the chapter to make the mind map right so uh, i had that experience but yeah so uh, it's really interesting that what you can do um with with color so uh, uh, why do you say you prefer the paper i mean um, isn't the apps uh, like when you want to edit something move things around well uh, technology comes with its own uh, challenges often times when you need it uh, technology kind of gives you the dilbert uh, treatment as in uh, there are glitches so i try and keep it simple pen and paper the pa pen works mostly and paper is available and then you file it i am reminded just the other day i was looking i was uh, preparing for an exam called the cim chartered institute of marketing a good 20 years ago and i had a friend of mine uh, who was working with me and for some of the international trade uh, papers we made a mind map and i found that mind map it's like a piece of art now <laughs> looking back <laughs> uh very detailed uh, very colorful and it brought back memories so uh, to me you know uh, paper and pen is more personal it's you know no frills it's you talking to yourself <laughs> right if that makes sense right right yeah and something i think you can enjoy doing when you're you know at that cafe or you know Uh, taking that like you don't need to open your laptop <laughs> right <laughs> right right um, right so um yeah we have uh, fatima uh, just joined us uh, to um uh, i mean um, ha have you been uh, using mind mapping and uh, you know what's your what's your take on that as a you know student and then uh, yeah as a student i didn't use mind map until now I just go to see some YouTube videos that are saying some apps, productive apps that use mind map to study. It's basically I most often see in YouTube like uh, the these apps were used by medical students. They were mostly they want to buy hard so many things, so they have to connect so many things. That's what I thought about this mind map things. And I have a question for Garu sir as well. Can I ask? Hello. Yeah, go ahead. I mean, oh, okay. Uh, if I'm a, I'm new, right? In the mind map technique, and how can I make most out of it? This technique, and how can I use in the entrepreneurship development, and also in the studies as well? I'm like uh, fourth year beta right now, and how can I make 
this technique to help me in the studies and doing my startups? Well, as I said, I mean, uh, it's a very simple thing. Uh, any concept can be broken down in many parts. So it could be as simple as your shopping list. And it can be as complicated as your business plan over the next five years. So it starts with a core idea, which you put in the middle, and then you break it down and you detail it further. Um, of course, YouTube will help you uh, understand the concept even more. Uh, if you can get your hands on any books by Tony Buzan, that also is uh, going to uh, make you more um, proficient at this. But the whole idea is to apply. Uh, I often tell this to my children, to other people, to know is not enough. Uh, to know and not do is to not know. So knowing is not enough, you have to apply. So I'm suggesting to you, start with this session. Just what is the core idea, mind maps in the middle, and then whatever you're learning, you make branches out of it, and then sub branches and more details. And uh, the next time you have another project, say, for example, you are planning a trip to Coimbatore from wherever you are. Uh, how will you book your ticket? How will you start packing? How will you uh, call up uh, any friends there uh, to arrange for your stay? Or will you call a hotel? Uh, your travel plans, your itinerary, uh, everything can be put onto a mind map. And uh, it's not as complicated uh, as you think. It's, it's very simple. Uh, it's just putting it down on paper. All right. And the, good, the best part uh, is that it's up to you how you want to, you know. Uh, yeah. Right. How you want it's, to draw it up. It's, you know, your, uh, it's your thing, yes. How detailed you want to go, how Absolutely. simple you want to keep it. Uh, it's something like uh, I really enjoy about that. So, um, uh, Fatima, uh, what's what's your take on this? Yeah. Hi. Good evening, everyone. Um, actually, Hi. when I heard mind mapping, it's something all uh, seriously the new thing I want to learn. But uh, actually, previously, Mr. Kabi said. In my school days, I just usually to do this mind mapping, but without knowing this is the mind map. And even nowadays, I'm doing something before when we start, I used to do it and write it before on my notebook. But uh, your uh, thing is really insightful for us. Uh, Sir Gaurav, so for anything uh, in your project or anything, will you do mind mapping for anything, everything? Well, uh, for a large number of things, I do mind mapping. For example, my wife wants to set a certain room that is kind of messy. Uh, and if I take the project on, <laughs> I'm kind of lazy. <laughs> I will draw out a map and say, okay, books, one space, uh, CDs, another space, uh, electronics, another space, clothes, another space and break it down. And uh, I believe it will motivate me to get down to action uh, in a better way. Uh, similarly, if I am saying uh, about uh, uh, um, a career move or a new business, I would uh, put it down on a mind map to clear my thoughts. Uh, here I am also reminded of another guy who did not talk about mind maps. But I want to mention about him. His name is David Allen. Uh, and he wrote a book called Getting Things Done. And uh, he uh, in his book says, the mind is not for capturing data. The mind is for ideating, for having ideas, for having emotions, for, uh, for uh, a free uh, wheeling uh, you know, uh, exercise. Uh, we capture a lot of data in my, our heads and oftentimes uh, we forget like uh, our, of course now a lot of our data is kept on our mobiles but uh, the point uh, being made is 
rather than try and put it in your head put it down on paper and then ideate then you uh, look at pros and cons of various things and uh, you will come out uh, wiser and uh, more efficient at the end of the exercise thank you sir thank you so much most welcome right um uh, the gave me glitches again today so um that's uh, really interesting uh, there and i uh, i just remembered you know a saying like uh, if i had to cut down a tree i would spend uh, in, in uh, if i had to cut down a, a tree in uh, say 10 hours i'd spend eight of them sharpening my axe so um it reminds me of that you know the planning the clarity that you get um with mind mapping to execute uh, uh it becomes so much easier with that is that um like uh, is that absolutely. something that you relate absolutely. to as well? uh you see they say uh, earlier uh, uh, kabir was talking about his dreams and how he encourages his mentees to put down their dream, dreams on paper so this is very basic as in unless it is on paper uh, these are figments of your imagination you feel nice about it nice warm feeling and then it goes away uh, but if you put it down on paper you can access it you can review it you can revise it you can uh, get down to work with it so i encourage everyone to put their thoughts and ideas on paper uh, be it this week i will do 1 2 3 and this is how i'm going to do it uh, because uh, when it is time uh, you might not feel as enthusiastic as uh, motivated as driven to do it so follow the paper i said i will get these three things done on tuesday you uh, get down and do it uh, rather than wait for motivation or your uh, boss chasing you or your uh, spouse uh, chasing you to do it no i i committed to it i put it on paper i'm going to get it done so uh, this is my input to everyone uh, put it down on paper and like mind maps uh, use it i encourage you to uh, do it because it'll be interesting it'll be something new and uh, once you get down to it it'll become a habit it's true it's true it's all about act taking action and that's something that we've been uh, talking about in all of our sessions uh, you know this high performance enterprise series and then and then the reason why we uh, created the morning uh, routines as well so we have uh, kabir hosts uh, two sessions in the morning one is a 30 minute uh, power morning session where we have a uh, you know 10 minutes meditation and a 20 minutes of task scheduling and uh, followed by a 30 minutes of uh, uh, you know fitness uh, routine uh, some exercises with abin so um we have this task scheduling thing that we do um, right. and um, I was just thinking, how can we, uh, you know, integrate mind mapping to that, or try give? It, I should give that a try. Absolutely. I remember about uh, three years ago, I was in Saudi Arabia. I had gone there for a month's project, but that extended to about seven months because of COVID. And uh, I would uh, join a similar kind of exercise, and uh, I, I chose to make mind maps, and I still have those. Once in a while, I open them and uh, look at uh, the concepts to review and refresh my uh, thoughts on them and uh, look at what I have actually done and what needs to be done further. So uh, mind maps is something that I, I'm uh, very enthusiastic about and I, I use frequently. And uh, to those who have not tried it yet, please go ahead and try it. All right. I think uh, if you want to try, you can give, give it a try right now. If you have a pen and paper, like you said, um, you know, draw the mind mapping core and then start from there. Uh, try it in the session itself, right? 
ஒரே <laughs> So I'll suggest Xmind. You can use Xmind. When I started, you know, start using mind maps, obviously Gaurav sir is uh, like absolutely right that, you know, if you're comfortable with pen paper, that is the best thing to use because since childhood we're doing that pen paper. But, uh, you know, sometimes as an entrepreneur, you need to present your stakeholders in a technological way and you have to screen share and a lot of things have to be done. So when it comes to presenting mind map, you can use the X mind map, which is a good software and you know, it's an easy to use and it's a user friendly tool. So I get that will help you. Yeah, thank you. Actually, for sharing. Right. That's right. There are a lot of uh, tools there. X mind map, mind demo that, um, and uh, I'm, i've been using linux and in linux i've been using free plane for a long time um and um, yeah and so um abdul rafi is here um i would like to um you know share some of your experience or ask your questions uh, sure thank you thank you jasir and uh, thank you the panels and the audience um i don't have any uh, specific question as such but uh, when it comes to innovation you know i i i have a some sort of a fascination for that world um so when when this uh, opportunity came up i jumped in and uh, uh, and then i was listening to mr gaurav and uh, it is really helpful what you are providing what what mr gaurav has shared i missed i was uh, traveling so i missed few bits but some of the messages like how simply he is breaking down the uh, the approach to this uh, mind mapping uh, i think it's quite insightful uh, so thank you for all the team for facilitating this that's one thing secondly uh, gaurav like you know can you talk a little bit about like you know innovation uh, i mean how the mind map leading to innovation like you know in in, in some perspective uh, that would be great sure so one of the gurus of innovation is uh, edward de bono and uh, he talked about lateral thinking i believe mind maps is a great uh, lateral tool uh, it is not sequential uh, it allows you to think laterally so any problem that you have or any challenge you have any uh, project that you want to put down uh you are able to look at it holistically not piece by piece but overview and uh, that enables you to think innovatively uh, bring in uh, new ways of uh, approaching something and uh, exploring things and uh, uh, as uh, sakshi said yes now a lot of tools are available which uh, use uh, technology so uh, there are apps there are uh, you know uh, online tools uh, where uh, you can uh, collaborate with others on uh, uh, mind maps uh, that are available electronically so that is again uh, allowing for uh, co creation so uh, it will need someone who has a similar um, uh, kind of understanding of what is being done and uh, i think uh, in a day or two one can learn uh, what is being uh, kind of approached using mind maps so uh, if you have a team uh, you can present to them your mind map and uh, then they can bring in uh, their uh, perspectives and those can be put down and then uh, some thing can be finalized using that uh here i want to mention another gentleman uh, called atul gawande uh, he is a doctor in the us and uh, he has worked on many many projects including i think he was on president biden's uh, healthcare um, uh, mission or something like that 
and he has uh, written this book called the checklist manifesto and uh, anything uh, be it as complicated as flying a aircraft or uh, managing a uh, disaster management mission or um, you know putting together a new model like the tesla uh, you can do it uh, collaboratively using a mind map so i think that's the uh, innovation uh, aspect of using mind maps thank you thank you mr gaurav i think that's quite wonderful and you uh, su summarized it so nicely and i it definitely did open up some of my uh, blogs i mean you're absolutely right i mean in normal way we are probably sequential and we probably are limited by our own road blocks you know so the problems can be solved by multiple angles and we don't have the overview at a given point so what happens is like you know you go after something and then in your normal logical way and then you stuck and then you are probably uh, remain there probably mostly or you don't find because because of that linear thinking and uh, i think this definitely uh, opens up that possibility and uh, so thank you uh, for this great insights I appreciate it cover most thank welcome you. pleasure all right um uh, we have a Hare Krishna in here. Uh, Hare Krishna, if you would like to um, uh, come or uh, like uh, share your views and ask questions, please, please, please go ahead. Uh, Hare Krishna, if you can hear me. Oh, sorry, it's not unmuted. Okay, uh, thank you, thank you, Jazir. Uh, my name is Hare Krishna, and. Uh, uh, I'm running a creative media agency uh, based in uh, Kochi. So uh, we usually have uh, small teams working on uh, creative media projects like advertisements, uh, uh, related uh, branding, uh, marketing strategy, and so on and so forth. So uh, personally, I'm a person uh, who uh, who thinks a lot in terms of uh, has to think a lot in terms of advertising and marketing strategy for my client and sometimes the idea comes out of the blue like whenever you're driving or whenever you're doing some other activity uh, um, and it, it's it's a passing thing you sometimes you just forget to note it down but then it's somewhere hidden in the mind that, that idea at particular time uh, may have passed and if you're trying to recollect it it might not work so this is a traditional uh, creative person's problem but then uh, there are uh, i mean sometimes it get, get it gets right uh, thinking about uh, thinking deeply about something uh, will uh, get idea uh, i mean it will facilitate uh, ideas as such uh, and then um, we, we, uh, I have personally, um, as an entrepreneur, uh, to improve my creative skills uh, during the COVID lockdown, uh, I, uh, I got to attend a doodling course. So it was a doodling uh, boot camp uh, by a famous person. Uh, by I, I don't exactly remember the person's name, but uh, he's a popular person, Indian guy. Uh, from uh, from Gujarat, uh, who's settled in Netherlands. Uh, I used to uh, go to attend this class, a doodling class, and uh, it was more concerned with how uh, to engage uh, uh, self and uh, other teams in a creative creativity. So I'm a person who's not well versed in drawing and such. Uh, so there was a discussion on how to like make your drawing skills, improvise your drawing skills. But then uh, the lessons imparted were quite cool. But then uh, since I, I wouldn't follow, uh, I hadn't followed these things uh, during my uh, early growth stage. I, I mean, I'm not again fond of uh, drawing pictures or taking note, uh, notes in terms of uh, pictures and all. But then um, note making is, uh, I have my own methodology uh, for taking down notes, maybe points, uh, highlighting and uh, only until that level, I go only until that level, not like creating a doodle or a uh, flow chart. Uh, but then our team used to, our team definitely uh, used to do that. So uh, as of now, um, my company in terms of uh, management, uh, basically it's, uh, we use the MS Office tools or CRMs or uh, Basecamp for collaboration. Uh, but then uh, there are, uh, there are people, larger teams who work with better tools like probably Asana or Trello. Uh, so because we are we are a, we were we are a group of small team uh, working in uh, collaboration and um, each person is actually aware of their uh, responsibilities 
so uh, there is no need of an extensive tool as such to create a, 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 a big strategy document or a, a roadmap a, a wider roadmap say for 10 or 15 uh, 15 years and we don't work in that way basically it's an advertising thing so it's something related to trend uh, what is uh, going currently and all but then brand building again uh, some people, uh, there are very, really, very few companies that are, that are invested in uh, projecting their brand to a uh, forecast level of say 10 or 15 years. But then that happens in. So the, um, uh, what I'm telling is that uh, my, this mind map, mind mapping technique uh, works for uh, for entrepreneurs. Uh, probably they have some entrepreneurs have everything in their mind. Uh, for example, uh, last last week I visited uh, one of my client, uh, one of my coordinating companies, which are which was into machine design in Coimbatore. So I met a person who's there who can who is working with uh, at least fifty or hundred uh, equipments. Uh, these are machine design equipments, and he's not formally educated. So uh, despite being formally educated, uh, he got he has got the tacit knowledge of how uh, uh, design uh, machine design equipment is working and uh, he can he can make a job done uh, without ever communicating uh, the, the essence in a paper so that was something so for example if there's a, a plastic um, bearing or aluminum bearing he can just see that bearing and uh, tell that the, the weight of the uh, bearing so that he's that experience and adept in this um, area and he actually doesn't need to take a pen and paper or work on it or a presentation to work on it. So I'm just telling that there are people like that. Uh, <laughs> the mind map actually is is within their mind itself. So again, I, I, I'm fond of people. I, I, I work mostly with people. So I come and meet a lot of people like that. I'm very, very, very much fond of people on how uh, they uh, decipher. And uh, I have interacted with one professor. Uh, he's a TED, TEDx fellow, uh, a TED fellow actually. So um, while discussions about education, uh, there is a saying. I mean, uh, there is a saying that not every uh, person is alike uh, in terms of their uh, learning capabilities. Or uh, are mostly people are not even uh, the best of the educator are not in congruence with the knowledge of a single mode of uh, understanding or education or communication systems. Uh, there are very, very, uh, and as you said about lateral thinking and Edward Bono, um, uh, I have read the book of Edward Bono uh, of the six thinking hats. Um, and uh, it, it was again lateral thinking was very much explained that book. So there are people who uh, are capable of that lateral thinking. Uh, there are generalists and of course there are specialists even who are capable of lateral thinking. And that is a, a game changer for uh, for uh, the companies or that kind of talents who can uh, do that lateral thinking uh, again. Uh, so tools are again uh, the tools are just a means uh, for reaching the end. I admire the tools. I admire the tool designs. Uh, but then for so something simple as uh, taking a, a piece of a chalk or a, a marker pen and marking uh, something, scribbling something in the uh, board, it, it could be something more effective for a team than actually working in software in some cases. If it's complex project, of course, we need to utilize uh, 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 tools like uh, Basecamp uh, or Slack and so on. And again, uh, all this uh, mind uh, I mean, I would like to close a, close a note. Oh, I'll, I'll take 15 more seconds if I'm uh, going long. Uh, so I, no. I'd like to, uh, if, if you've seen the movie Oppenheimer, um, it's a three hour long movie. It's about physicists building a first atom bomb in the world. And uh, the project management, uh, where it is a military, is done at the military level. But how it is done inside the team, uh, you can see that um, blocks of Lego, Lego pieces or uh, pebble balls uh, being put uh, representing something that is ongoing uh, in the in the sphere of atoms. So you cannot see the atoms. Uh, you cannot. Uh, there is no equipment to visualize the, uh, the atoms uh, during that time so precisely. But then the scientists are able to convey to the team by using innuendos like this. Uh, so that's the, again uh, that's again a testament for how projects could be managed uh, with uh, uh, with a diverse uh, team and the most simplistic manner that. Each and every stakeholders are right, doing that. Right. Yeah, but there are many tools. There are many tools and many techniques that can be used. Uh, uh, like there are many that even uh, Edward De Bono, um, you know, uh, mentions. And uh, uh, yeah, but um, mind mapping is, I think, one of the most uh, you know, 
used and brilliant uh, tools out there that's you know it can be as easy as drawing on a piece of paper um, it's that simple and you can make it as complex as you want and uh, put it on your system uh, you know draw out those maps um, draw out those uh, diagrams and really really make it complex and beautiful um, coming to that uh, Gaurav, like uh, what's your favorite uh, uh, template or you know uh, map, map type uh, tree flows and fishbone yeah so well uh, i try and keep it basic uh, one of the things i'm also fond of is planning or strategic planning as someone would call it so the fundamental is um, uh, where are we and where do we want to be uh, how do we get there and reviewing it are we getting there so uh, this can be something that uh, everybody could uh, put down uh, and uh, work with it so uh, yes i uh, to answer your specific question i keep it simple i draw basic lines and uh, make uh, subsets and uh, detail where required uh, i don't get into very uh, fancy drawings and stuff like that i i like to keep it simple and user friendly and usually i am the user so i keep it like as long as i can read my own handwriting <laughs> that is okay so uh, these are basic uh, mind maps uh, where the concept is clear and then the sub thoughts and the sub plots so to say uh, are uh, recognizable and uh, then action points are also uh, given in the same mind map so that that's how i operate Yes, sir. It's all about the connections, right? The the the, the lines that connect, and it's right. all about that, right? Right. Uh, Kabir, um, what's your favorite? Again, pen and paper. And uh, uh, I would love to tell one thing uh, to Hari. I uh, I was hearing uh, what Hari was telling. So, Hari and uh, me, we come from the same uh, university, QSAT. And Hari is one of the people who has studied photonics. That's about light. Uh, uh, so, it's a rare course, I think. So, Hari, uh, uh, one thing uh, which I would tell is, it depends uh, uh, depends on the memories, uh, uh, memory way. Since I'm I'm to NLP, so I think see things in a different way sometimes. So for the visual uh, visual people, what happens is that for them, usually this uh, mind mapping works very good for them. So the, that's what I see. And for kinesthetic people, usually it's the other way around. I think Gaurav, uh, what do you think? It relates like that, right? Yeah, so uh, as Hari was saying, uh, no one way is suitable for everyone. So everybody has an approach, but uh, at the same time, at the corporate level, there has to be one language that everyone understands and everybody can uh, un uh, contribute in. So uh, it's a process uh, and it's a, a tool that is available to all the team members uh, to operate on. So, uh, of course, if it is something that's simple and it's for yourself, you do it on paper. If you want to involve a whole lot of people, then you get technology in, uh, get in a tool like MindJet or uh, XMind uh, or any other tool. So, as long as it is understood by everybody and everybody in the team is able to use it in a simple fashion, it's user-friendly uh, and uh, people are comfortable with it, then it works. Okay. Uh, back to you, Jas. Definitely, definitely. We are on the last um, five minutes. Yeah, we are on the last five minutes. Um, yeah, and I, I think that resonates also. And also because uh, most people, I think around uh, 70, if I heard it right in a TED talk, a percent of the people are visual and uh, some are, uh, and the rest, 30%, I think only 5% are kind of spit again. So, um, probably that's why mind mapping resonates with a lot of people. Um, 
And so, um, I, just five minutes now. I just want to take parting notes from everyone. Uh, I mean. Yeah, hello. Yeah, uh, your parting thoughts? Yeah, basically, I am not. I am a starter to mind mapping. Yeah, I will look into that. I just started to use uh, pen and paper. In the meantime, I was just thinking, uh, writing my mind maps. I was just doing what they said, and I was just. Uh, that's, that's that's wonderful. Yeah. I think you should post here. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, right, do that. Um, yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, Abdul Rafi. Oh, well, wonderful session. I I missed uh, some bit, but anyway, thank you, Kabir and team, for uh, uh, hosting this and uh, and the great uh, thoughts and insights from Mr. Gaurav and rest of the team. So really appreciate it. I mean, this is I mean for me this was something new, but this was something what I was looking for. So it's a miracle. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> now, the important thing is like, no, get on and act. So that's the plan. Thank you. Right, right. Um, if uh, any of you want to ask any questions, I'll, I'll just see a couple of people just joined. Uh, uh, Salman. Um, uh, uh, Gaurav, yeah, so Gaurav has yeah. an uh, other session at 7 o'clock. Okay, let's just point it. Oh, yeah. So, no, uh, yeah, let's have parting notes from Gaurav. So. Right. Great. Thank you guys for uh, hosting this. And uh, it was a very interactive session. I loved it. Uh, I would uh, leave this thought with you saying, uh, whatever you think, uh, do try and put it down on paper. And if it is in the form of a mind map, uh, you'll find it interesting, fascinating and engaging um, if uh, after the session you do do a mind map and if it can be made public do post it under here so that we can all uh, see it and see that you are uh, using it in your life and if you have any questions uh, and any thoughts and ideas that you want to uh, exchange uh, do reach out to me and wonderful session once again uh, thank you, Kabir. Thank you, Jasir. Thank you, everyone else who spoke. Take care. Thank, thank you so much for joining us. So I'm uh, uh, just uh, taking part in notes of the rest of you, and then let's uh, head back to Kabir. Um, so Sakshi. Yeah, as well. So same what Gaurav said. I think she dropped off. Uh, I don't see her. Uh, yeah. Okay, Hari. LinkedIn playing hooky. <laughs> yeah, uh, so it was an interesting discussion. Uh, so I have heard of the, about this mind map when back in when I was studying, like uh, during the high schools, I mean, encouraged to use mind maps. So during that time, it was useful. Uh, so I, I would like to say that uh, it can be helpful for an individual uh, to learn progressively on a, a particular subject and gain expertise. Uh, it has to be used extensively as uh, Guru was again saying. Uh, but one more thing to note is that if you're collaborating with different people, uh, try to get inputs and updates and uh, feedback from your team on how are you feeling on a particular topic so that everyone is on the same page when you're working in a team or a company. So that's uh, the takeaway from this. Definitely, definitely should do that. Uh, Sakshi. Oh, was I audible? Yeah, I know you dropped off. Uh, yeah, you dropped off. So. Go ahead. Oh, I didn't realize. Okay. 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 So I was just saying that, you know, as what Gaurav said, am I audible right now? I'm audible, right? Yeah, yeah, you are. Yeah. Okay. So I, as Gaurav was saying that, you know, he was encouraging everybody to use mind map, I guess. Yeah. 
that is the best way because you know mind map actually help you in brainstorming your business ideas or the your normal gen general ideas as well and you know it help you organize your ideas enhance the time management makes you creative anyways like you know you say that your even your uh, children are using it jazz so, so you know it also helps one you know enhancing their creativity as well and is one way so i would also uh, encourage everybody to use it thank you so much sakshi and thanks for joining us um and please do follow and uh, you know uh, connect with each other here um uh, kabir back to you thank you jasser this reminds me 10 years back when jasser and me we were working on a project in the travel industry that we were making something similar to clear trip but for an agency tool so uh, i hope jasser you remember those mind mapping charts i do, I do. <laughs> yes i do <laughs> so we, we used to have uh, a set of charts So that's how it works for me. Then uh, I was a early adopter of Asana when uh, Asana came in, and uh, as uh, Hari told, we would uh, do the mind mapping because that's how I dump my thoughts, and then feed it to Asana. Then our coordinator takes it from there, so that the whole team is on the same phase of it. So it uh, so this is it how. it works and one question asked to me was whether i use a nap or a paper but i use paper that there is two benefits out of it once you write some something down in paper again it, uh, it like it brings back into your memory it etches to your memory so it is like twice you're doing so that's one thought on uh, that and apart from this uh thanks everyone gaurav thanks uh, thank you for coming and conducting this great session look and forward to other opportunities sure sure you'll be here so we uh, so 2019 we had the chuma work and gaurav was one of the first people who were with me so right. that journey i'm taking it forward so now Uh, I'm going to a uh, hundred million people around the world. So thank you all the volunteers here uh, from uh, different countries and who has not reached, and the coordinators who are uh, supporting the movement. And thank you, Jasser, for hosting this event, and the Rafi, Hari Krishnan, Sakshi, and uh, Fatima for coming up and speaking and. all the listeners down there angelica very happy to see you back salman happy to see you fatima abin panik semi and ankit so it's almost the time we are 3 minutes late but again as i tell the same thing dream big aim high start small start very small that you can master it you can focus on it and you can build a discipline around it and once that is done i tell that you can make miracles happen you can get whatever you want in life kabir a dreamer from this part of the world in the count of 3 we are having the room closed you will have the recordings uh, of this event in uh, 12 hours below this event please share the event to your friends and family and anyone who wants to volunteer for chuma work can send me a message volunteer so we'll get back to you so with lots of dream again dream big aim high start small with lots of love signing off pc kb